trying to find Will. Ah. We talked about Will in one of our more recent sentences, didn't we? What do you think, class? This is identified as a conjunction. Do you think thumbs up, thumbs down, or not sure? I've got some not sures and a lot of thumbs ups. Can you find it in your grammar yeah, examiner? I already looked at it. I you did look at it? Even started and what kind is it? What kind? It is a subordinating. A subordinating conjunction. So it is correctly identified as a conjunction. It is subordinated. What do you know about a subordinating conjunction? If we know that the sentence is starting with a subordinate conjunction, what kind of information do we have? For instead of we're going to probably have a complex sentence. Very good. All right. See, we keep that in the back of our mind now as we keep going. I is a pronoun. Yes, no, or not sure. Oh, I got a definite for sure in the back. Did you find it on the pronoun list? What kind of pronoun is it? Uh, oh yeah, a, a subject. It is a subject pronoun. Another piece of information we want to keep fresh in our minds because when we get to the next layer, what are we going to be looking for? Subject predicates. Subjects and predicates, right? This is a possibility of being our subject. It's a subject pronoun. Um, and now we have the word ever, and it's an adverb. Yes, yeah, it's true. Because you can also have it as. It, as um, if I meet a cycle friend, I will walk away, and then you can add an ever, which can it's modifying the verb meet. Um, it's if I ever meet a cycle friend, excellent. I will walk away. I excellent, that. excellent yeah. reasoning. So then we're looking at meet to be a verb. What kind of verb is it? Uh, uh, action, action, because you're going to see someone. Somebody. You're going right. to see someone. Someone can actually do. We've got A as an adjective. Yes. Thumbs up, thumbs it's down. Article. Not it's sure. an article. Oh, that's a definite thumbs up. It's an article. Is it definite or indefinite? Indefinite. Indefinite. Right. We don't know about a specific psychophant. We only know about general. If I ever meet one, right? If I ever meet a psychophant. Okay. And we've got this labeled as a noun. Agree, disagree, or not sure. Well, we've got a lot of agrees. Because it's somebody. It's the only thing we have up right now is thumbs up. Yes. I'm actually, I don't know, because, because when we were looking up, like, I think it is a noun, but I also wasn't sure. Okay. could be an adjective or it could be a noun. Yeah, because an adjective is like a fit. Because when but you what said you said you don't want to be, be called a cycle fit. Right. And then but a noun, I guess they're because like it's always booked, so it's a cycle fit. Right. But, but my, so what we have to determine, what we have to determine is in <gasps> this sentence. Oh, is it an adjective or a noun? It's a noun because then the A is not two cycles, and it's an A cycles. Yeah, but just like in the sentence, but like just This reality. article right yeah. here Has to tips us off that, that this is a noun. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome reasoning, and that's awesome questioning. We should always be wondering. Hey, I know that can also be. So wonderful. I like all of it. I is a pronoun. Well, if it was of a course. pronoun here, yeah. it's still a pronoun over here. Are and what, sure? what kind What kind of pronoun do you have? Subject. Is that going to be handy information in the next yeah. 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 It, it yeah. Quite yeah. possibly. It could be, um, okay. Because we started our sentence with a subordinate conjunction, what are we expecting to find as far as subjects and predicates? How many sets are we expecting to find? Oh, two. Two. We're expecting to find two sets. Two I know. Clauses. I know what this okay. is. So this might be good information to have. What about this word will? This and what do you think? Um, will is a verb because there's there's because it's a past kind of a like a past tense like. And here, like, there's three different ones. He's talking about right. the tenses. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's the past, present, future, and this would be the future, because in here, I think will start school, right. and will means to go to the future, oh. like, will oh, happen. Right. This is, this is an I walked away, it's, it's and not, like I did it already. It's, it's not like I never met a psychophant. 
It's that, I will. It's not. It's like I never met a psycho friend yet, but if I do, I will walk away. It's not like right. I walked away from So this is friend. going to happen in the future. Right. And our verb is walk. Walk. And it's correctly identified as action. Walk. And away is identified as a preposition. Um, oh, I hear an um. There's no prepositional phrase to follow it. There is no prepositional phrase to follow it. That's a really good, good point. Reasoning. There has to be. So, what does that mean? Well, does it have to be? Would we ever have a preposition by itself? So, what's our next strategy? We're, we're kind of like questioning because it should be introducing a prepositional phrase and it's not. So where do we go now? Excellent idea. Go look in a dictionary. While um, Logan is doing that, let's go to our second level. So now we need to identify subject predicate sets in our clauses. And like we said, because we started with a subordinate conjunction, we're expecting two clauses and we're expecting two sets, subject predicates. So, Cora and Frank. Okay, we've got two subject predicates identified. I and me. And I and walk. and walk. I think we would probably include will walk as our predicate, yeah. right? I will walk. All right. Excellent. Walk. Walk. If we have here, what kind of verb did we say this was? A linking a verb. verb. No, we yes. said it was a um, action, action verb. Oh, wait, no, not a linking verb. When we have that. an action <laughs> verb, <laughs> when we have an action verb, what are we going to look for? Um, an a, uh, yeah, subject, con no, not subject, um, direct object. We're going to look for direct object. Subject, action verb, direct object. Oh. What is the question we ask ourselves in order to determine if we have a direct oh. object? Anna? If I ever, I don't, if I ever what? Or if I ever meet what? Right. Is there a clear answer to that? Yes. Yes. And what? So then there's our direct object. <laughs> if I ever met what? Then what the direct object be a single friend or just no. single friend? Because if it's just single friend, it doesn't make sense. It would be the noun. It would not be the adjective. Well, we never identified this as part of speech. What did you find? It's an adverb. I told you it was. It is. Does that make sense for this to be an adverb? Yeah, I will. So tell me how it makes sense for this to be an adverb. You could say, I will walk. Well, I will walk away. That will be a reason. Right? I will walk towards. I will walk away. I will walk quickly. It is an adverb. Since it's an adverb, an adverb is never a direct object, so we don't even have to look. That took care of that. Okay? So we're good. Now we are ready for dun 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 phrases. Do we have any phrases? Yeah. Uh, no. Zoe? I don't think we have any phrases because we the only ones that well I know I can think of two right now. We don't have a prepositional phrase, and the other one there would have to be two commas for an a positive phrase. Right. We don't have an a positive phrase, so we can mark this one off as. No what, phrases. What word triggers the infinitive, infinitive phrase? The preposition to. T-O. Oh. Okay. Followed by a verb. That so that I, um so that like triggers an infinitive right. phrase. Right. Yeah. Now we're down to the last one. First off, what kind of sentence is it? Logan? Yeah. Exclamatory. It's 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 exclamatory. What is the structure of this sentence? Rogan. Complex ID. That means the independent clause happens first. Can you read the independent clause for me? Like, what would, what would you do if you have Is that independent, I'm meaning so that you can just end the sentence well, there? Well, it would be D I. Yes, in the end, this is even yeah, yeah, the comma. Because there's a comma right. there, and there's a comma in the middle of the sentence. So there's the comma. And, and to trickle the comma in the middle of the sentence, the conjunction in the front triggers the comma in the middle of the sentence.
the mail. Who is going to come up and identify for me or mark out the first dependent clause in this? Hope, just be careful. And the second one. Come on, Maddie. Oh, come on. You were going to say Michael. Okay, and she correctly left the subordinate conjunction in that dependent clause. That's fine. That's fine. Um, because it is. It's part of the clause. Remember with a coordinate conjunction, it's a separate from both clauses? And here it's part of the clause. Um, now, who can... Who could rephrase this sentence so that it would be a complex ID sentence? The structure would change. Brooke? I will walk away if I ever see a psychopath. That too, that too. But this is our, our new word we were looking at today. So psychopath. Very good.